Welcome to the second full episode of my um, tutorial session on Kubuntu 11.04 Nighty Normal. As you can see here, we're at the desktop. I'm sorry about the graphical issues at the top of the screen there. I'll be taking care of that in the next episode. That uh, That's with uh, a problem with the way I'm capturing video. Anyway, you see down in the system tray there the icon that looks like a gear with an arrow on it. I've got my mouse mo moving over it now. That's the update manager. As you can see, we've got quite a few updates. Uh, this is all of the non-security updates that have happened since uh, from release until today. Uh, that apply to the packages that I have installed. As as you can see, a lot of these are for libraries, and a lot of uh, a lot of them are multiple updates for uh, or updates for packages that are split into multiple things that are, are really just one thing, like cases got D and uh, cases got down there. Uh, if you click one of the packages, it will show you the information about that update. And you can do this for any of the updates. Um, it's the update information. There is just that it, there's a minor th uh, fix for something that affects Nvidia graphics cards, which means that if I were very low on bandwidth, I wouldn't install that on this virtual machine since this virtual machine doesn't have an, any Nvidia graphics in it. However, it's always a good idea to install all updates. Um, whether or not they apply to you, because sometimes mi uh, sometimes minor things can can affect things in ways that the programmers don't realize. The Plasma Netbook, which uh, will be I'll be doing a um, an episode about that. This is the boot screen. And this has the potential of fixing any of the uh, boot problems. Quassel is a very nice IRC client. In fact, I would recommend that you become familiar with Quassel. By default, in Kubuntu, Quassel is attached to the Kubuntu IRC channel, which is somewhere that you can go for help. That people, um, that there are people sitting in the channel at all hours of the day and night who are willing to help you. Sometimes the channel is rather inactive so you may have to wait for a, f for a few minutes before someone sees you, but almost always there will be at least one, uh, one person who's in there and able to answer your questions pretty quickly. So a good idea when you get the update the updates is to check for any new updates because if you say haven't been at your computer for a couple of days or something it may not have uh, checked for new updates in a while and so there may there may be further updates in addition to what we've got in this in the the particular case of what I've got that's not going to be true because I actually ran the update manager just a few minutes before I started the video in order to check for updates manually because I knew there were going to be. You don't have to do that, but if you um, if you would like to, it's under the system settings. There's a um, there's an icon under system settings called just a second here. I'll tell you what it's called. Um, software management. From there, you'll be able to perform updates. It's on the bottom row. So as you can see, we didn't find any new updates. So we're ju uh, so now we can actually just go ahead and apply the updates. Simply click the apply button. Of course, it will require your password for that. But now it'll download the updates. This 
Obviously, that's dependent on your internet connection speed, but it will actually tell you what it's downloading as the, as the packages download. Um, the left-hand column tells you how far the download is, the middle column tells you the package name, and the right-hand column gives you a description. I'm just going to quickly fast-forward through this. Okay, so now we've reached uh, the point where we finished downloading and are actually busy installing the packages. You can press the hide button there that's available on the right, and then it'll download and install in the background. However, I want to show you everything that it does, so I'm not going to do that. By pressing the details button there, again, you can see what uh, what it's busy doing. The, um, it uh, will prepare and install packages based on what's required. For example, apt, that just scrolled off the top of the screen there, that requires um, uh, many of the packages that we've got require the new version to be installed before we can actually install them. So it will install that before it starts preparing the other packages. Anyway, just fast forwarding through this again. Okay, so now we've, it's done and it's automatically closed the window and as you can see there are no new updates. So we can close and we're done. We've updated Kubuntu for the, uh, for the first time.